Defense and Space News TV report. In a major step forward for what is by far India's most ambitious aviation exercise, the first budgetary funds have begun to flow into Project Gartak. The classified effort to build a stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle formally received sanction as a lead in project last May, with the first funds released earlier this year. A project that has direct oversight from the Prime Minister's office and the National Security Advisor, GARTAC, which began as the DRDO's Autonomous Unmanned Research Aircraft, AURA, has remained steadily out of view. What we know so far for certain is that the GARTAC will be powered by a modified dry thrust version of the Cavery engine, read on for more details of this modification, will sport a flying wing planform with internal weapons, as revealed in the first official images here on Live Fist in 2012, and will sport stealth characteristics developed wholly in-house. Let's now get into what hasn't ever been reported before about the GARTAC, or a program. While the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, is overseeing the program along with the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, the real R&D is being front-footed by two academic institutions, IT Bombay and IT Kanpur. Since 2013, low-speed experimental studies have been carried out on the Gartax serpentine intake by a team at at Bombay. This team has been made a kind of mini skunk works towards proving computational fluid dynamics on the Gartax, with no limits on resources and access to facilities. Two, two specialized research teams at it Kanpur wrote in in 2015 for wind tunnel testing of a low RCS intake, work began in mid-2016. The second was even more significant, in November 2015. A team from it Kanpur was brought on board to conduct and study the autonomous flight of a low RCS aircraft configuration with a ducted fan for multiple flight modes. Scientists shared the following image with Live Fist, never seen before, that provides the first official schematic of the power thrust configuration on the GARTAC. Over the last 3-4 years, the Aeronautical Development Agency has been made aware by several foreign airframers, including stealth pioneer Lockheed Martin, Dassault, Boeing, B Systems, and even MIG Corp that they'd be willing to assist the GARTAC program in a possible variety of ways, either as offsets, or a commercial consultancy arrangement. Live Fist can however confirm that the Narendra Modi government has decided that the stealth component of the GARTAC program will be entirely in-house, and will be limited to academic institutions and private industry and country. Decisions of this kind have changed in the past, notably with the LCA Tejas program, but the highest levels in government are clear at this time that program ought to develop its own core technologies without external help. Things won't be strictly in-house on the engine though. We do know that the modified Cavery engine for the GARTAC, Oro is to be the second big part of the project. Reported first by Lifest and confirmed years later by Defense Minister Paka, we now know that an initial sum of about $35 million has begun to flow into the, the pre-project part of the program since early 2016. A total of approximately $450 million will be spent from the Indian side in bringing the Cavery engine to satisfactory operating standards through a tech partnership with Francis Nikma as part of committed offsets from the Indian Rafale contract. Top sources confirm that the technology infusion from France intends to make the Cavery a standard engine for the LCA Tejas to assist its modification for the GARTAC and for twin configuration on the AMCA. Scientists on the AURA, GARTAC program confirm to Live Fist that concept UCAF is tied in several ways to the fifth generation AMCA development. Live Fist had a big update here this week on the AMCA, which itself could see technology infusions from a lineup of interested suitors, including Saab, Boeing and Dassault Aviation. 
the latter is keen to use its Rafael deal offset commitments to feed technologies into the GARTAC and AMCA programs. The lead in project sanction that the aid obtained for the government was in fact a joint sanction for both programs, given the huge number of common R&D elements, including shaping, materials, construction, intake geometry, data links and avionics, weapons and of course the Kaveri engine. Top sources at ADA say that full project sanction for the modified Kavri engine and the GARTAC will come likely late in 2018 once the design phase reaches a satisfactory stage. An interesting development, the precision guided weapons for the GARTAC will see extensive private sector participation. Companies like Vum Technologies and Handful More presented their wares at this year's Aero India show including laser-guided weapons. An executive at Vum Technologies said they had been sounded out about building specialized weapons for India's unmanned programs, and that there would be future activity to demonstrate capabilities. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay tuned.